Hi there, my name is Sarah Olson, and I chose Larry Sultan and his pictures from home uh, to be my artist for the midterm project. I first saw Larry Sultan compared to the others as just different emotion-wise when I was looking at his pictures and the way that he kind of manipulated everything with the scales and like the contrast and the light and the tones. Um, I really like doing empty like facial expressions and empty emotions so that it's up to interpret for the viewer um, depending on the rest of the things that I do to the photo. So a lot of his pictures, it's of his parents, it's a decade long project that he did and it's his parents in, in retirement and at their house. So seeing that kind of makes you think of the bittersweet of like end of life and having that one partner that you can rely on when you're against the world. So I did really like his style, um, but uh, I, when I was going to take the pictures, I wanted to like completely replicate some of the ones that I saw. So there's a couple things that I tried to do a twist and, you know, be 20 year olds at life in the peak of our prime or whatever, um, and kind of set up the same scenarios as young adults. So I think in his photographic language that the most important thing that stood out to me was he uses a lot of greens and cream tones, which contrast very nicely and also replicate. I mean, green is a happy color if you look at any mood ring chart, right? And cream is a very calm and clean approach. So it makes it to where like it's a satis satisfying feeling versus just being extremely happy all the time. So thinking about being satisfied with life and then seeing all these empty emotions and having these two people interact with each other and they're bickering sometimes and then in the next photo they're very sweet with each other. It kind of just represents life in general. Uh, so my favorite part about his album that I looked at was it the house, his, this project was released in 92 I believe. Uh, being said it was like an 80s themed house and there's green carpet everywhere. So on top of the green tones, like in the walls and the curtains, it was really fun to see and try to replicate because all I have is a tiny little green bath mat. So I had to spend a lot of time kind of editing and duplicating the green in the photo um, in the one that I did eye for eye. And then after that, I kind of just took my own life and replicated his style. So it was really fun. I definitely had a lot of things that I struggled with for it. Um, but I hope that I could match kind of at least half of what he conveys. So um, I think my favorite thing too is I noticed that he has like the feathered black borders around all of the photos, most of the photos, um, which kind of let them complement each other. So thank you.